It was a day to prepare to honor those who fought for our freedoms. Memorial Day is next week, and today volunteers gathered to place American flags on the graves of veterans. Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live for us tonight in Hanover Township with more about that community effort. Andy? Good evening, Candace. We are at St. Mary Cemetery in Hanover Township, just south of the city of Wilkesbury. Now, get this there are about around 8,400 veterans buried in this massive cemetery, 8,400, and today an American flag was placed on each and every one of those graves. It's respect for our fallen veterans. And that is why these volunteers of all ages from all walks of life, including veterans, spent Saturday placing flags on the graves of those who served, some who made the ultimate sacrifice. There's so many volunteers here today, and it's, it's overwhelming. There's 8,000 just in the cemetery alone, uh, whether they died of natural causes or died in the war. It's mind-boggling. It's, it's overwhelming. It really is. The AMVETS Post 59, based in Hanover Township, organized this mission. When you sit back and you say, why should we honor veterans this way? Some of them never made it home, but they paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we can have the freedom we have. And many of these volunteers have family serving in the military right now, so this effort hits very close to home. My son is supposed to get deployed, so you worry. But um, it's his job, and that's what you sign up for. Among the dozens of volunteers, members of the Hanover Area High School football team. They tell us this is the first time they've been together since the COVID-19 pandemic forced the closings of schools. It's important to us because we show our support for the veterans because they made the ultimate sacrifice for us. Now the 8,400 flags were given to the AMVETS Post 59 in Hanover Township by the VA, the Veterans Administration. Reporting live at St. Mary Cemetery in Hanover Township, Luzerne County, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Candace, back to you. Thank you, Andy. And veterans organizations across our region will be carrying out similar missions this week leading up to Memorial Day, May 25th. The